is Wolf 4966. I'm John, your host. Um, a little update. <clears throat> a big update. Miss Maricel, my soon to be wife, is officially infected with chicken pox. She is not allowed to go in public places. Got her in a, um, a boarding house. <clears throat> A really nice boarding house, um, about 90 bucks a month for for the Philippines. That's nice. She has her own bathroom, mm -hmm. AC. I don't know if she has hot water or I don't know if she has hot water. I don't, that, that I don't know. I forgot to ask her that, but it's official though. She has chicken pox. Doctor gave her some antibiotics, fever reducer. And one other round looks like Alka Seltzer to me, but you know, in the Philippines they all come the same. It's not in a bottle like you and I in America. It comes in a, a vacuum pack. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's what they call them here. It's like um, it's like getting uh, Sucrets or whatever. It comes in that vacuum pack with the um, a protection seal. <coughs> Anyways, she's going on day four. Uh, she can expect to, for it to take at least two weeks. So I, I think she's starting to come out of the rough. You know, we're seeing the light at the end of the tel tunnel. So a negative is going closer to the positive. I just thought y'all know that. All your prayers. And your condolences and wishes and so forth. I appreciate them, man. I really do. I needed them. I need. I needed you all, man. I need. You know. I, I'm, my religion is my religion, but prayers are always welcome. Always welcome. And um, she's still sounding pretty sick. And I called her and we talked a bit. Try to ask her if she had a friend that's already had chicken pox that could help her by going to the store for her. So, you know, I don't want her out in the open at all. And due to the fact that <clears throat> if you're in a hot, tropical, <laughs> humid environment, it makes the chicken pox a little more miserable and more itchy. You, you get the heat and then you get the sweat. This makes it really miserable. So I'm glad she's got AC and she's uh, uh, she's doing her best to recover. The village, the barangay, um, mom and papa had to tell her, no, you can't come here until until you're done, until the infection's done, and and uh, and I told her the same thing, and she knows it. She 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 already knows she can't go up there. So she's stuck in Duma for about 10 more days. Um, she's got the boarding house at least going. So, um, very smart, productive woman. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with her. <laughs> uh, maybe she'll bring me back to what I used to be. I used to be a very productive and, and uh, hard work. Well, I'm still a hard working person, but. My life could use her. You know, you, you know you found the right person when that person's lost without you and you're lost without that person and you put the two together and they become a strong force. You know you got the right one. Definitely you have the right woman. Or if you're a woman, you had the right man. If you don't have that, there's not that constant bond of love and taking care of each other and the mindset of we're going to be together forever you know those are three flags that you need to consider those can be a, a damper on a on a good or decent or poor relationship that can be um, that's a bad thing it's a bad thing but uh, we won't go into that you know what you're, what you're, 
it doesn't have to be a perfect, I was going to say perfect relationship, but it doesn't have to be, oh, the perfect relationship. And what is the perfect relationship? If anybody could tell me what the perfect relationship is, shoot me a comment. Message me. Let me know what a perfect, perfect relationship is. I've been pretty much in one perfect relationship, and the only flaw in that relationship is is is, uh, is a, a medical condition that caused the life of my my first wife. Uh, it's been eleven years or more, and uh, it's something that's hard. For people to say, go move on, man. Just move on. Go, go find someone that loves you and you love. And it's not that easy, folks. And a lot of widowers and widows out there totally understand and relate to what I'm talking about. It's not that easy when you found the one, and that's your soulmate, and you lose her or lose him to death. Um. It's not a good thing, let's put it that way. Um, but God, God finds a way. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to feel loved. And God finds a way. Okay, this ain't going to be as long as my other videos. I just, I wanted to give you an update and let you all know what's going on with her. We're, we're, we're still good. We're going strong. If we weren't good up to this point, then... I would consider some advice that I got from others, you know, pack it up, cut it off, and move on. But, um, you know, my situation ain't the same as everybody else's, and, you know, I'm not being used, I'm not being uh, conned, I'm not, you know, this woman actually loves me, and, and, uh, before I could, uh, before I couldn't call her uh, due to the fact I was waiting to get paid my uh, veterans pay. Um, not free. Earned it. Anyways, when I had to wait for my veterans pay on the first. Two, three days ago. Well, my, my phone come up and I put a little extra on there so I could call overseas. Which, $10 will get you about 10, 15 minutes talking to someone in the Philippines and uh, so I did that so I could talk to her and we talked a whole 15 minutes it was great um, I'm, and I'm glad she's improving she's feeling better and uh, we're still a couple we're still a strong couple we'll always be a strong couple six years and we're not broke up um, yeah it's going to be a it, it, this is my forever woman, you know, and we both have the same, we both have the same ideals, both hard-headed, we'll deal with that, we'll deal with that, um, we're a lot alike, but we're a lot of not alike, <clears throat> if that makes sense, um, a lot alike in interests that count, to me at least, um, some that some that might make it a struggle. Hard-headedness is very hard to conquer. And uh, and that's something that we're, we, we're both going to end up both working on in the, in the future. Because I'm going to say, well, you know, and the reason why I'm saying this is because this is this and this and this, and that's logic. It's logic, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, you know, this is how it's going to end up. I have tons of this kind of tragedy experience and yada 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 anyways that some of that might be another uh, video how to handle a hard-headed person when you're hard-headed that should be a that should be about a half hour video but it won't it probably be about three ten minutes but um, that way you can get the gist of it in the first and the second. It's all about presentation, ladies and gentlemen.